Hello everyone, this is Nighthawk here, and welcome back to another uh, Dragon Ball Z Sheaf for Your Arts unboxing episode. I just got a brand new one today at Barnes & Noble. So I'm going to get Dragon Ball uh, Z Sheaf for Your Arts Super Saiyan Goku. Uh, I was trying to find this one for a while. Uh, I found it on Amazon for like 50 something dollars. Got it at Barnes & Noble for $44.99. And, yeah. They had, they had uh, the Great Saiyan Man there, which is another one of the newer ones, along with uh, Majin Buu and Mr. Satan. Uh, but those ones are like $60, $80, bucks, so I'm not going to be worried about getting those just yet. So, I'm going to open this guy up, and uh, I'm going to see you do a video on Okay, so I've just opened them up. And I know that the, the setup I have for this is a little bit different than the other two, the other three that I've done. Um, so I'm just trying to spice up a little bit and show my face when I'm just uh, opening this up. There we go. Wow, we got a lot of hands here. So we got, actually, I can probably just dump this out real quick. Okay, so here is the Super Saiyan Goku. I will get to him in a minute. Just pour out all the hands and faces. I think he has just as much as he did for when I got like the regular Goku. So we got, uh, let's, where are they at? Oh, wow. So we got two sets of hands that are just doing this. Oh, a lot more is going off. Got another pair of hands where he's doing this. Uh, looks like we got some face, more facial expressions, which pretty cool. We got some more hands of him doing this right here, and we got. It looks like we have just basic palm hands gestures, whatever you want to call them. So we got. Four sets of hands and two adjustable faces. That way, it go that way. Okay, so let's see. His arms seem to do really good. His arms move pretty well. If you can hear my sister screaming from my dad's name in the background, uh, and she can't find him, it's probably because he's cutting the grass because she's not paying attention half the time. Okay, not important. There's obviously these things here to make sure they don't, nothing happens. I'm trying to get this one out now, which does not want to seem like it wants to come off. This one does. Why can't I get this one off? There we go. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh there's some by feet. Gotta take these off real quick. So basically, his uh, his character model is supposed to be when he's fighting Frieza on um, Planet Namek. I just want to I want to make sure he's actually able to move properly before I start talking. It looks like this belt or like this uh, damaged suit down here, or the rest of his gi. You can move that around. Uh, I'm wondering if this can. Oh no, this doesn't look like it can come off. Okay. Uh, his, yeah. Again, his arms do pretty well. I want to check his hands and his uh, face. Let's see how his leg movement is. Uh, the feet move pretty well. The hands, or no, the legs, the legs move pretty well too. Uh, I will say, like, some of these pieces or his torn pants are kind of, sh they're kind of actually sharp. But it still works. And I'm pretty sure that the Super Saiyan head that I have, I can put that on the basic Goku one that I have. So... And since I boxed up all my action figures already, I don't know if I can. Blah. So I'll probably maybe do a video on it or you'll see it in a stop motion video that I do. 
And if that's the case, I could probably put the regular basic Goku head on this. Um, okay, so that, that actually does, does do pretty good. Stands up. Amazing. Uh, let's see, let's see. Let's see if he can take off his hands pretty easily, because if they're really... Okay. Ooh. And... Uh, what hands do we want to give him? Yeah, we'll give him the hands for him doing uh, his Kamehameha. That's not... Oh, there we go. Okay, let's get the other one on. Okay, this one's a little bit tougher to get off. Okay. Well, his hands, his, I will say his hands come off pretty sturdy. So I feel like the more I take off the hands, they'll be able to come off and on a little bit easier. Let's see about the face. And I'm not going to be looking at the camera that much when I'm, for these new ways of doing some or these unboxing because I got to see what I'm taking off. Okay, there's that. And put the hair back on like so. Move the arms around to make him do his Kamehameha. Because before I used to make the um, the Dragon Ball Z Star Series unboxing videos, and I said, would you rather have an action figure that is uh, limited, or looks okay, but is limited to using, or use, limited to, to, to like certain things? Or would you rather have a very detailed action figure and can have unlimited movements? Like this Goku here. Yeah, there we go. Let's see if we can make him do this. Yeah, that, that actually looks really good. I like it. Awesome. Well, I guess I'll be uh, oh, on the hunt to try and find more of these. I won't. I probably won't be buying any more of these characters until after the yard sale I have in May. So because I I'm starting to run low on some money, I was I was only able to buy this one with a gift card, so I got lucky with that. So for right now. I guess that's really it for this Super Saiyan Goku. I'm honestly tempted to ask my parents and see if they can take me back over to the storage unit where I put all my action figures at and just find the she figure arts. It's just, just in case I see. But other than that, this character looks really good. So, if you guys like this video, leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think about this action figure. And uh, if there's any other character that you have a favorite character for Dragon Ball Z, or if you have a favorite Dragon Ball Z character and there's one that you want to see, I will try to find it, make a video on it, uh, leave a like and subscribe. This is Nighthawk, and I will see you guys in the next video.